Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Thought I'd sneak off a WrestleMania video for you here today. I'm sitting here on my lunch. Um, I got an early day today. I go to work tomorrow and then I'm off on Tuesday. And then Wednesday morning, I'm off to the airport for my WrestleMania trip. Um, honestly, you know, you know it, it felt like it was forever and forever away. Even when we bought the WrestleMania package, um, you know, way back when, um, it seemed like it would take forever uh, to get here. And now here it is. I know that we bought the package, so it wasn't like we were having to get together and uh, do the pre-sales and make plans and this, that, and the other. But, um, you know, part of that is, is part of the adventure. So this year just sort of snuck up on me. And uh, boom, here it is. Uh, I know there's a lot of matches at WrestleMania that honestly I, I don't care about, you know, what happens one way or another. Um, it's always fun for these guys to have their, you know, their mid-card WrestleMania moments and try and find that. Um, there, there's going to be a lot of good matches. Hopefully we can see some fun stuff between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Uh, for the people that have been following their career through Ring of Honor and PWG and... Um, been really rooting for these guys and now here they are even though they're going to be in a ladder match with a few other guys you know they're definitely they're going to have a spot i believe where they they face each other off and you know with it being a ladder match are we going to see them uh you know just sort of do a recreation of their ladder match at pwg in some way um maybe do some sort of a, a spot like they did in the ladder wars and ring of honor um you know that's something that, that'd be a lot of fun and but there's some matches that just I honestly don't give a damn. It'd be fun if the new day comes out, you know, on their unicorns or whatever they're going to be doing. But, um, you know, if the, if the new day wins, if the League of Nations win, it really doesn't matter to me. It is what it is. But, you know, when it all comes down to, you know, the two matches that I care more about anything else. I've said this and people really don't believe me, but I've been to WrestleMania 26, 27, 28, 30, and 31. 32 will be my sixth trip. But honestly, I care more about the final two matches of WrestleMania 32 that I have for any match on any other WrestleMania that I've been to. Um, Triple H going up against Roman Reigns looks to be a really huge match. Um, lots of rumors out there about, you know, maybe WWE finally seeing the light and basically thinking that um, Roman Reigns um, would turn heel and maybe he would, uh, you know, that would sort of be his sparking point of really jump starting his character. Um, having a heel turn, winning the championship at WrestleMania. The one thing that you can look back on uh, would be Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 17. Everybody looks back at, at uh, WrestleMania 17 as being one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time. Nobody really remembers that Stone Cold Steve Austin is one of his biggest regrets from his career, besides for walking out on the match with Brock Lesnar in 2002 on Monday Night Raw, has been, you know, debating and politicking to turn heel at WrestleMania 17. And Vince sort of gave in, and it was the joining of Vince and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And from listening to his podcast, every time he talks about WrestleMania 17, he talks about his biggest regret is the fact that um, he should have called an audible. He knew in the moment, in that spot, in the ring, that it was the wrong thing to do, that the people were, were not going along with Vince and, and Austin as a team. Vince should have taken, uh, no, I apologize, Austin should have taken Vince's help, and then when it came down to it, he should have hit Vince with a stunner, and just, you know, just, we'll fix it tomorrow night on Raw, and we'll just get where we need to go from there. Um, but, you know, it ends up, they, they ended up going that direction. Um, you know, 2001 would bring us the uh, invasion uh, with Austin and Vince, which would be a big part of the whole deal. But I think if you're a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan, you know, some of the stuff that you don't like to remember is, you know, Austin losing his confidence and, you know, uh, you know always wanting to hug Vince. Uh, it made for some funny moments, but in the long run, you know, the reason why you like Stone Cold Steve Austin is you like to see him kicking some ass. And, you know, it's not so much about him singing on the guitar, or wearing a cowboy hat and stuff like that. But, you know, when it comes down to it, Roman Reigns turning heel uh, would be big. Shane uh, versus Undertaker is the match that I think a lot of people... Um, are, are thinking that it's going to be the main event, um, seeing how it has the fate of the company on its on its shoulders. I still believe that um, Triple H Roman is going to be the main event. If you look at the listing on WWE.com, um, normally they list the matches in the order of importance uh, for the most part, especially with the new way that the website is all lined up. And they actually have this in the number three spot. They actually have Brock versus Dean Ambrose in a spot that's higher than this. And maybe it just, it is what it is, or maybe that's just the way that they see it. But um, 
I definitely think that it is one of the biggest matches. I think it is the second biggest match. And um, I think that honestly, if you have Triple H and Roman go on last, I think that it, it makes that match mean a whole lot. And some people have said that, well, Shane has basically said that he's going to fire the authority if um, he takes over. And um, some people have said that, it, that there's no reason for Triple H to even come out if um, you know Shane wins the match. And right now you're looking at um, the Undertaker. You're looking at you know Vince McMahon. Vince is bossing the under uh, the Undertaker. Vince is bossing Taker around, um, calling him his bitch, saying this guy's gonna do his bidding. He's gonna you know beat up Shane. Um, you know a lot of things can happen. Taker could get in there and really take a beating to Shane, and maybe you know Vince has a, a change of heart. And uh, he, you know, wants to call Taker off. Like, hey, this went too far. I wanted to teach him a lesson. I wanted him to back down. He's not backing down. At the end of the day, this is my son. You can't kill this kid um, because this is my livelihood. Uh, I know I've got grandkids. I know I've got, uh, you know, some boys. I've got some girls. The McMahon family will go on. But this is my, my, my firstborn son. And even though he has, you know, chosen to leave the company and now here he is coming back, I don't want I don't want my son to die. It is what it is. You know, you, everybody has a a breaking point, and maybe they get to that point. Honestly, in my opinion, I think that Vince is gonna play Vince. He's gonna want Undertaker to beat the hell out of Shane. And when it comes down to it, I want to see uh, you know basically Taker, you know, tombstone Shane, maybe call for the ending. Vince thinks that it's over. He's won the match. He starts to celebrate. One thing leads to another, and just Taker. Uh, decides that you know WWE would be better if there was no more Vince McMahon. Um, he, maybe he's past his prime. He can't do it like he used to. Maybe he brings in his own, you know, personal feelings into what's going on. Um, Taker's had a huge, long uh, career in WWF, dating back all the way to 1991, being the you know sort of leader of the locker room for a great period of time before leaving um, around WrestleMania. I guess he left after WrestleMania. Well, I guess it was before 27. 27 is when he started doing the once a year, I'll see you there. And then this year, you know, he really kicked it back up because I think he's he's seeing that it is closer to being over. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he just wanted to get a few more matches in so he wouldn't have that regret um, that when he got a little bit older that he didn't do it for as long as he could have when he wanted to. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Taker rolls Shane over um, and, and takes one for the L, even though it means he can't wrestle at WrestleMania anymore. Um, he can go down as being the one guy that put uh, you know Shane in power and uh, moved uh, the WWF one step closer um, to you know the eternity of being the greatest wrestling company uh, on the world um, or in the world, whatever you want to say. I think that if you put Triple H and Roman on last, um, you could definitely um, play off the fact that on Monday Night Raw, uh, Triple H uh, was fearing Roman Reigns. He didn't want himself to be seen. He wanted to hide in the back. He didn't want to get beat up again. Um, this 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 week's Monday Night Raw uh, brings us the, uh, hopefully, not another tug of war. You remember how much people hated that last year? Um, with uh, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns playing tug of war um, as the show faded to black and that was what you were supposed to be excited for leading to WrestleMania. Um, I wanted to see the guys throw blows and we haven't really seen guys throw blows on the on the uh, go home show to WrestleMania honestly in a long time. They've saved that. They want to make sure that we buy the pay-per-view. They want to make sure that we buy um, the network and um, it is what it is. Um, she, there we go. Um, so uh, it'd be uh, fun times uh, leading up until WrestleMania, and uh, I think that honestly, if you uh, you you build um, that match is being last, you can have the urgency of Triple H, maybe the desperation of Triple H, especially having Stephanie out there as well. It reminds me a lot of the thing. Well, you know, the Hell in the Cell match at the uh, King of the Ring show where Undertaker uh, fought Mick Foley. Mick Foley got thrown off the top. Uh, that that match honestly didn't go on last because Stone Cold Steve Austin was involved in it and Stone Cold Steve Austin was the biggest draw in professional wrestling and, and nothing gets bigger than that. And uh, he had the match against Kane um, where Kane, uh, what was it? If Shit, what, what, what was the, the stipulation was something bizarre um, where if uh, Kane lost the match, Kane would light himself on fire or something like that. Uh, I know there was a can of gasoline out there in the ring, but it was a it was a uh, first blood match, 
And, uh, you know, because of the fact they'd had the Hell in the Cell uh, in the match before, uh, I can't remember if that's what they were trying to bring up the fact that, uh, you know, Vince had a, a secret guy in the back, which ended up being the SWAT team version of the Big Boss Man. Uh, you know, he was supposed to be the Big Boss Man that raised the, uh, the, the briefcase um, when Vince and Stone Cold Steve Austin were having the match. That might even have been at King of the Ring either, so maybe this was a year beforehand. But, um, you know, it, it, um, someone lowered the cell and basically a first blood match turned into a hell in the cell match for a while where I think at some points of the match the cell was actually on the ground and trapping people inside of the cage I think at some points it was like head level um, basically where the guys can sort of duck and go in and out of it and people could come into the cell but I think it was there so basically people could take shots like you could bang somebody's head into the cell which was just sitting there head level um, but I, I think that definitely you could you know you don't want to call this a Hell in the Cell match, but I think the Hell in the Cell could be involved. Um, definitely somebody could make somebody press the button, which lowers it down. And, and Roman and Triple H can be encased in there, even though this isn't billed as a Hell in the Cell. One thing leads to another. I can talk about this forever. So um, I, 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 I can tell that I'm excited. I hope that you guys are excited. But um, <sighs> WrestleMania 32, right up around the corner. I can't wait, guys. I'll see you guys down the road.